before like a random blogger takes this and tags an actual friend of mine and says that I'm talking about an actual friend of mine. I just like the song, okay guys? So anybody who's like screen recording this one, I just like the song. It's actually about nobody. I just want to pick up Bella who's an awesome musician and wrote a song that I really loved because she just had a baby and I want to give her some presents on my live, introduce her to my community. If you don't know Bella, let me see if I can remember her handle off the top of my head. The Bella Blair. I think it's The Bella Blair. But if I have it wrong, like you can type it in the search part of Instagram. Um, type in Bella Blair and follow her. Like she's really amazing. I really, 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 really love her voice. I love her energy. And you know, but it's like the people strive on blossom and blue. And she's one of them who, I mean, I, I remember her when she was part of a group, uh, Black as Coal. Um, and then she used to sing solo as well at different events at UA and you know, but just like her energy. So yeah, go download her EP. Okay. Buy the EP. And if you don't want to buy the whole EP, buy that song. Don't chat to me by Bella Blair. It's a tune. It's a vibe. And I like it. Um, and congrats again on your new one. Blessings to you, mama. So tonight, the live is actually about the, I saw my outer shape. Let me shake up myself one time. I can't find my breath. Man, I'm in some cold climate, so like the running is not working for me. So I'm kind of sitting down most days. Thankfully, I've gone vegan. I'm going vegan. I don't want to say it and declare it like it is already done because I'm still learning. It's only 15 days. Um, so I'm going vegan with Dan Dan. Uh, so it actually helps me to cut down on a lot of the fry fry and stuff because I have to know make the meals and it's, a, it's more stews and stir fry than anything else and i can't just grab fast food because most of the stuff for them sell having cheese and i'm not allowed anywhere near cheese except when i'm tasting their sandwich to make sure that the melted cheese is not too hot just like a little piece of cheese you know as a parent you have to kind of sample it but make no mistake i'm using that as an excuse to taste up my mouth with some cheese i'm not even going to lie okay i don't have a whole sandwich or anything i just kind of like you know check the temperature of the cheese there full disclosure <laughs> Um, right, so this live is actually coming out of something I had shared in my stories earlier today about a scripture I read in my morning meditation. So it's a process I do every morning, um, just kind of go through spiritual teachings, you know. There are people who've walked this earth long before me, learn some things we mean not learn yet. And I just want to tap into that wisdom, those reflections and, and that kind of thinking to see if there's anything I can learn and if there's anything there that is relevant and valuable to me that I can sow in my spirit and just continue to water. So the reading for today was actually coming from Proverbs 16 and verse 9. I'm going to read two translations for you. Um, the NLT translation says, we can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. Um, another version of it is... The NIV version, it says, in their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Um, another version, ESV says, the heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. So I had shared it in my um, stories and just kind of asked, how do you interpret it? Because I'm always interested to know how people view that particular scripture. And I'll tell you why. At this time of year where, you know, I am focused on goal setting, you know, reviewing how I did the last year, looking at what I want the new year to, to, to be like for me, what I want to achieve, what new skills I want to develop, um, whatever the goals are for business, um, for investing my time, investing money, where do I want 2021, December to catch me? And in that projecting every January, you know, there is always a conversation, maybe not directly with me, but you'll see it online. Like people are saying, um, all of this planning and thing and mana plan and gotta wipe as if to discourage um, the planning. So I wanted to know like if this scripture is one of those scriptures that make you think that as you plan, God is wiping. And, you know, what, why do why do people have that perspective? Um, I've always been interested in finding that out. So when I shared it in my life today, I did a little poll and I just looked back at the poll. 84, 86% I, yeah, 86% said that when they read the scripture, it tells them that as they are planning, um, the creator will meet them 
yes yeah, so as you as you plan this thing that you want to do as you endeavor to fulfill this desire and this wish you believe the creator will meet you on the journey so 86 percent of persons who responded thought that that was the interpretation you know that was that was what they got when they read it and then 14 percent when they read it they thought that it meant while they are planning and um, taking steps or you know making making moves towards a goal god is wiping so i promise to share what my perspective on it was because you know it's that time of year when people are doing the goal setting and sometimes you ask yourself then all oh, this planning may i plan Look how last year, let's use 2020 as an example. Look how last year everything get wiped away and kicked down. It come like that make a sense for you. I don't know about planning, planning. Just see what I go on and see what you can do with the circumstance and make something out of something when you see what I go on. Why invest all this time in planning and strategizing and hoping and dreaming and believing and wanting more than you are seeing? Um, and maybe even having any faith that you could come up with a plan that is approved by the creator you know part of that divine order for your life you could actually come up with something that lines up with what the creator is planning why why think that like why would you think that your little bird brain your little human brain can conceive of a future that would align with what the creator already has planned for you or could create for you so I, I share that scripture, scripture to get some feedback on other people's perspectives. And as I said, 86% said they believe that when they plan something um, and start moving towards it, God is, God is meeting them or the creator is meeting them. And then 14% believe that when they make a plan and start walk towards it, um, the creator will wipe it out. Now, I'd have to go further in conversation to see why people believe that part and why they believe the other part. Um, which I'm not able to do through that poor feature, but I definitely wanted to share what I believe. Let's start fundamentally at, at who I think I am, right? I don't think I am separate and other from the creator. I don't think that the creator is yay high and I am yay low. God whatever form God takes as a breathing, conscious, um, cognitive expression of life, right? So unlike the dog, I can budget. Unlike the lion, I can strategize and plan. Unlike the fish, I can see a couple steps ahead of my nose. Well, gills, they don't have noses, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> So I'm cognitive, I'm aware, I'm alert. I can do some higher order thinking when compared to others on that um, food chain. Yes? So if anything, I am closer to the creator than any other form of life. So the fact that I can think and process and plan and anticipate and pull on memory to make present and future decisions, it means that there is something more to me than just being here looking for the food, eating the food, making children and putting a roof over my head so I can sleep without rain with me. There has to be something more because that's what dogs are doing, right? So if, if I am able to process things at a higher level than the dog them, then there is more for me to do than just kind of watch the weather and say, you know, it's today a day for go outside or stay underneath the cube. So that's the first thing. I don't think that I am here so. And the creator and life energy and source of all this wisdom and, and intelligent design that we're seeing in nature is way up there so I can't reach them. I believe firmly that I am a child of God. Her expression of life or his expression of life, whichever um, school of thought you subscribe to, or maybe you don't have God as gendered. I'll say the creator, because I know I have different people in the audience, but that source of life, that creative energy, I think I am a child of that source of energy. I'm the fruit of that womb that gives birth to life. So being a child of, yes, yeah, so, so a God child is who I think I am. I also believe that I have God essence, you know, so there are elements and, and and parts of that essence of the awesome creator were just sprinkled upon me you know just 
just dead air. Just, yeah. So outside of the breath and the, the, the cognition to just like notice and recognize and appreciate and plan and build a bridge. So many of all is a swim, swim across the water. Like apart from all of that, there's like an essence, like a creative essence where just sprinkle upon me. And that explains why human, human beings create so much, build so much, destroy so much, even as the society is advancing, right? So there are dangers to that where we don't um, follow the, the laws of that same nature that has birthed us. When we don't follow those laws, we'll destroy nature and eventually destroy ourselves. But not looking at those negative, you know, impacts of the creative energy we have. I believe that that essence, that godly essence, I have that too. And so I am a creator. I create things. We all do. And part of that manifesting of the energy, especially for women, is the ability to grow a human and create this body with hands and fingers and, and feet and eyes and nose and just push that life out, you know, as many times as your body can allow you to do that um, in our existence. So when I look at that, it, for me, it's just, just awesome. Like, yes, it's something that other animals are able to do, but I can do that with a level of deliberation and, you know, cognition. Like you can plan and see, is this the environment? Is this setting? Am I ready? Is this time? Versus other animals, it's just like whenever they're able to mate, they just mate, bam, bam. When it's cold, they're not mating. And when it's warm, they're mating. Like there's no strategy and, and control over it. It's almost like the body just lead them to do it. And they just do it. You're in a heat. Yeah, smell something off of the next little dog there. Dog I smell something off of you. Make we go this. Right? So it's, it's automatic. But as human beings, especially as female bodies, um, there is a lot more you know, planning and strategy that, that goes into the creation of the life, the sustenance of the life, the connection that is there after birth. And if you know about the animal kingdom, that connection after birth, that kind of family bond in animals is very rare. So it's not even a natural and normal feature of animals. Um, only those that they call, consider higher order animals would have that kind of mating, bonding, lifetime create a home this is my son this is my daughter and we live together for x amount of time it's very rare that you find that even in the animal kingdom so for human beings that is a rare component that we can build families um and, and nurture and nourish for decades um so that for me is is also evidence of this this god essence and this supreme and superior energy that we have so because I believe that, you know, like I'm a child of this awesome creator and I have sprinkled on me that energy and essence of awesomeness, you know, the, the, the ability to create and to build and to do magnificent things and to think and just invent something. I say, you know what? I feel like we could have one piece of iron where you can be all the way in Europe and me just take up the iron and go so boop, 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 boop. And then me, I talk. And then like we can be some touch something and then we can see and you can see me. The fact that human beings even can conceive of a thing like that and then build a thing like that, like a smartphone. I'm always in awe of it because it means that we see beyond what we have. You know, it doesn't have to be in our, in our, in our reality for us to think that we can create it. So we can sit and imagine and say, all right, how physics go, how chemistry go, how bio go, and figure it out and then create things with that new knowledge. We alone are do that. Me don't know if aliens are out there, but for now, I will at the top when it comes on to that. So when I think about strategizing and planning for a future, I don't do that as just a smuddy where one something. I do that first in the authority that I'm really at the top of this food chain. Yeah. You know, as, as I look at all of this beautiful life that has been created. I'm superior to it in my ability to think and make sense of all the data in my environment. We are the only living, breathing um, beings that can do that. Like we look at everything and we just make a determination. We just process the information and just bam, in all circumstances, just I read the room, just I read the room. So, and I say, all right, come, this needs to happen next, this needs to happen next. So I make plans, crystal make plans and have ambition and have goals on the vision board with that kind of authority that men are just they are bloops bops so there is something great 
to my life energy and i have to always be thinking about how to pull that out and how to lay it down light that fire light the candle and just put it out and make it brighten up a corner of a room it might not burn the whole mansion but you see for the corner here put me my job is to figure out how to light this candle here called um, my purpose and how to sustain that flame so that it feeds who it is supposed to feed in this corner of the world of me you know to the best of my ability now for that to happen i can't just sit down I can't just sit down and say divine energy creator come like this you know how my purpose thing go you already have the final answer so just come do the one plus one part no no matter me, me have to do that and then have to jump over the equal sign because me and you know so you don't know over the equal sign already so just come total this out and just make some um Understanding all of that, I am not comfortable just kind of bill back so you know, can't do no light. Mother say, yeah, whenever you're ready, it does come like this. Mm -mm. You know why? This the same scripture that some people use to say, while mana plan got a wipe, tells us that our job is to take a step. So it said the heart of man devises his way devises his way or makes a plan. But the Lord um, ordains or confirms or affirms um, his steps. You hear what you hear? What it say? The step, not the sit down, not the dream, not the plan. The step, which means that you have your step. Not true. You have to practice up your little foot. Them now for no say after left is right. You have to catch your balance now for make sure so when you stand up and start the step. You're not, you're not drop down. You have a responsibility for learn off a step. Right? So there is no step that is going to be affirmed. There is no step that is going to be strengthened. There is no step that is going to be ordained. If you now move, like you just build back and I say, I want to go down the road. Just, you know, do what I do. I make me reach half a tree. You have a step. You have a step. So, so how are you step now? Can me watch my daughter learn off a step, right? She sit down. She see some tall people in the place. I walk up and down. When them want to take up the fork, they move from where them there with feed them foot and go over there and take up the fork. You know, when them want to watch TV, they move from there to go sit down over there. So. When them want to lift her up, same foot them use, move from where them there and lift her up. So she observe, what does it take to take a step? Because she did it on her knee and she said, well, you know, may I get from point A to point B, but it looked like them have a way to get there faster. One, because them a walk will left me. But two, I mean, the only person down here is upon my knee. So clearly, you know, there is, there is an ambition and there's a goal. So she have a goal. As little as she be, you know, she have a goal. She realized, say, everybody else in the environment moves from point A to point B by standing on their feet. So, her goal then, her ambition and her desire is to replicate that behavior because it seems to be the order in which things operate. So she set a goal. Many things say every single baby, if they see nobody moving, then just get up and start walk. It's something that you have to observe. It's something that you have to want to mimic or to fashion or to, to pattern. So she said, all right. Look like I saw it go. So she start the first now, get up and hold on and something to catch the balance. Right? So she had test out this foot thing. A lot of our plans require that. Stopping, observing what's going on around us, what is the, the status quo, what is the, the current situation, the current reality and, and, and um, evidence of things. Uh, acad acad ac academics. What just happened to me a while ago? Academics. <laughs> call that the zeitgeist so so learning the zeitgeist observing the zeitgeist so you're sitting here say all right most businesses are going online now yeah so this are the, this are the step away are talk about most businesses are going online now how that go you know me used to my little um operation right so if you buy something from me you come in here and you look on it you touch it you try it on you come at the cash register you give me your money me give you the receipt and whatever you're buying 
but I'm observing this change in the environment. What am I going to do now? Because if God up, if man a plan and God a wipe in a minute sense, but just have to go sit down and see if God a go wipe things back in my direction and people are going to come in at the store. Mm -mm. Right? It says the step, step is what is going to be um, affirmed. So I have to figure out how to make the step. No, it don't mean it's a careless tip. Like I just been get up and say, all right, business is online. Bam, come, meet me online. You have to figure out what it takes to get online. Just like Zia has to figure out what it takes to do this thing where one foot move in front of the other, in front of the other, and it takes you somewhere without dropping your face. So she starts to do a thing that they call cruising now. So she's up first, you know, oh, catch, catching it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Sometimes she drop back. At no point does she drop back and say, boy, the walking thing ain't really my thing, you know. I forgot to ease up after that walking thing and just go on and wait till them pick me up. Uh, I drop one time already. Or, boy, I drop two time already. I forgot to slow this for some bigger people, yeah? Let me see if, you know, them can just go and lift me up. No! She drop. She say, all right. And I saw it go. Let me try next one. Get up again, drop some more. Get up again, drop some more. Get up again, drop some more. So, let me just go back to reading verbatim what this scripture is telling us me and these long passwords oh i know what i didn't write in productivity hack whatever your goals are make it your password my friend karen scott taught me that whatever goal i'm working on that's my password every time i log into the laptop i'm reminded of the goal and i get working on the goal when the goal is achieved I change the password. So, in their hearts, humans plan their course. So that is Zia in our heart, planning her course. She's going to learn to walk. But the Lord establishes their steps. So how the Lord I establish our step now? Because a lot of us say, boy, if me keep on a drop so much, it must be that. The Lord I tell me, said, this is not something to do. Sometimes that is so, right? But another time is your fear that is making you stay there you know the fear of continuing to fail the fear that people are looking and you keep on a drop 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 the fear that you keep trying and not actually get it say just somebody want to try at all whatever it is sometimes it is just you discouraging yourself but zia device is planning her it says she can't walk she can't do it just and it's something she can't do she not have not a baby around her she's the only baby the only person on the ground and she decides it that's what i do me can do it too so how, how are her steps established with me with her father with any other adult in the environment or an older sibling, we are to help establish her steps. So it means making sure that nothing dangerous is on the ground so that when she falls, she's not hitting on, on anything that will cause her harm. Um, ensuring that spaces that weren't carpeted before, we had to, to carpet them because that's where she was practicing her little stand up and cruise and climb and thing. So in terms of establishing the steps, we were already here to do that you know we are given that responsibility of creating a safe environment and monitoring her as she pursues this plan that she has devised in her heart so not because if she come up with this thing you know, in our brain and said what we want do that means it is a bad idea because she's not conscious enough to say dear creator please assist me in learning how to move my feet no she just see it and say i want to try that same thing with eating remember all along from she born until the day she decided that she wanted to sit up. She on the breast. But she noticed that she seen other people sitting at a table and doing this. So she said, oh, that's something for do. All right. I want to learn how to do that something there. Give me my own spoon now. Nobody feed me. Me want to do it myself. Give me my chair. Give me my little plate. Let me try this thing. Here. Right? It's not, she has not prayed to consciously ask, please, may I do this? Give me a sign that I should do this. She has devised this thing in her heart. And she wants to go and learn how to do it. 